Exciting news for people with type 1 diabetes. The Diabetes Research Institute has been working hard to create an integrated mini organ that mimics a healthy pancreas. The pancreas contains clusters of cells called islets. A single islet can hold thousands of cells that produce different kinds of hormones. Beta cells sense glucose and produce insulin hormones when we eat or drink. In type 1 diabetes, the body's immune system destroys the beta cells so the pancreas can no longer make insulin. New islets with healthy beta cells can be transplanted into people with type 1 diabetes, but to survive for years, the new cells need protection. The Diabetes Research Institute is building a safe house for transplanted islets called the Biohub. And so we need to make sure that when we transplant the cells, they're in the best home possible. So they are in a best environment. We're not going to take the islets and put them in the desert. We're going to put them in a house that has electricity, that has plumbing, that has all the things that we need to give them. Transplantable islets are scarce. Today, deceased organ donors are the only source. There are a lot more patients than there are donors, so only people with very severe, uncontrollable diabetes can receive transplants. This may change in the future as new sources of cells are identified and developed. Islets are fragile. They need lots of oxygen and blood, among other things, to survive and work. And here's another danger. Because the new islets transplanted into a patient aren't native to that patient's body, the immune system will destroy many of them quickly if they aren't protected. And if you put single cells somewhere in the body, they're all just going to migrate wherever they want to go. You're either going to have to have a, a device or a scaffold or a capsule or some kind of housing for those insulin producing cells. Now the house is going to have to be built of materials that don't stimulate inflammation and they're going to have to allow insulin to come out and keep things from coming in that could be detrimental. Today, islet transplant recipients get their new cells infused into their liver. The liver sounds like a good place to put islets, but because it's hard to protect them there, the immune system can kill many of the new islets in the first week after they're transplanted. The islets that survive the first wave of attacks are really stressed out because they're overworked. That's called metabolic burnout. So the remaining cells have a hard time producing enough insulin and eventually they stop completely. This is one reason why islet transplants today have been limited to just a few patients. Now the big challenge is to bring this procedure to the benefit of all patients with diabetes, especially young people and children. Diabetes Research Institute scientists are developing ways to hide or camouflage the new islets, so the immune system either won't know they're there or think the new cells are native. The DRI is also exploring new places besides the liver to put transplanted islets. One location that's promising is the omentum, which is a tissue that hangs over the abdomen. The omentum is a potential good home for islets because it has good blood flow and other nutrients that feed the new cells. But we're not just going to infuse islets into the omentum. Instead, we'll put the cells in a new home where they're better protected, like a flexible scaffold similar to a sponge or inside a vein. This new home for islets is called the Biohub. The Biohub will provide protection and spacing like their pancreas, plus the oxygen and nutrients the islets need to sense glucose and produce insulin. And that whole idea is to keep the islets happiest when they're first transplanted, which is a very critical period, the first 7 to 14 days when revascularization is occurring and the islets are under the most attack from the immune system. In the future, the Biohub could be implanted in your body, like another organ and be reloaded with more cells as needed. We can also put drugs into a Biohub that help protect the islets and are time release slowly. This means that we don't need to expose the whole body to drugs that suppress the immune system. We can put them only where we want them to work. The Omentum is only one place to put the Biohub that DRI is exploring. There are other locations that are very promising as well. Best of all, DRI will begin to test elements of the Biohub in humans within one to two years.